guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long since I recorded a video. I It was like the holidays and then I painted my room and that took like two weeks to move all the furniture back in and then I was sick and then I was house sitting my uncle's house in New York so I, it's been forever and I'm sick now. I have like strep throat so if my voice sounds weird that's why but I can't win this winter I swear. But I wanted to come on here and film a Valentine's Day look because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I filmed this look. It's really like pretty and lashy, but the lips are like pink, <laughs> which is like a little different for me. I don't usually wear a pink lip, but I think it looks pretty. So if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so I started off this tutorial using the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer Potion. I really like this stuff. I think it's new to Urban Decay's line. I got it on Black Friday, but I really, really like it. It fills in my pores pretty well. For foundation today, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y325 and I'm putting that all over my face. This is a perfect match for my skin tone, so if you have a similar skin tone, you have a pretty good bet of this being your color. It's, I love this foundation too. To prime my eyes, I'm taking MAC's Paint Pot and Bear Study, and I'm just placing that all over my lid, and then I'll be using my finger to kind of blend it out. For my crease shade, I'm taking a warm brown shade. You don't have to be too particular in which warm brown shade you use. As long as it's a medium brown shade that has warm undertones, it'll be perfect. Now I'm taking a clean blending brush just to soften up that crease, make sure that there's no harsh lines, and make sure everything looks seamless and blended. For the main lid color, I'm taking Fringe by ColourPop. It's this beautiful, metallic, almost silvery color, and I'm just placing that all over my lid. Um, this actually applies better if you use your finger, I've noticed, so just use your finger if you have any of the ColourPop shadows. For the outer half of my lid, I'm using Nostalgic by MAC. It's a pressed pigment in this like pretty pink metallic-y color. Fits very well with this look and I'm just placing that on the outer half of my lid just to give a little bit of dimension. Now to deepen up this look a little bit I'm taking a dark tone brown shade and just placing that in the outer V of my eye and a little bit along the outer lash line. For lashes today, I'm trying out the Huda Beauty Lashes in Scarlet. They're very dramatic, but I think they're really pretty and like flirty. And then I'm just going ahead and filling in my brows as usual with my Spiked Brow Pencil by MAC. For concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin in Warm Neutral. I really like this foundation. No, it's not a foundation, it's a concealer. I really like this concealer. It's very, very light in texture, but it is full coverage. So it's like the best of both worlds because you can pack it on but not feel like you're caked the makeup on, if you know what I mean. And 
and now I'm just setting my concealer and you can see I get it in my eye and make this beautiful lovely face so try not to do that. I'm just setting the rest of my face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus. If there's one tip I can give you guys for contouring, it's to set your liquid foundation with a powder before you contour. This just makes it so that your contour powder just glides on your skin and doesn't drag and give you those lines that can happen. And then to contour, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using the second contour powder in the palette. For blush, I'm using Max Mineralized Blush in Gleeful. It's this really pretty like pinched cheek look, if you know what I mean. I just think it's really like girly and flirty and pretty and perfect for Valentine's Day. And then as usual, I'm putting Lorac's Nude Waterproof Eyeliner in my waterline. That's also my bigger, biggest tip for people with small eyes to fill in your waterline with a nude pencil. It really opens them up. And then moving on to lips, I'm taking Jordana's Baby Berry Lip Liner and just filling in my lips completely with that. And then I'll be using NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in San Paolo. And then I'll also be using my go-to liquid lipstick by ColourPop, which is Midi, and just placing that in the center and kind of dabbing it out just to give a bit of dimension. Now I'm just going to brush away all that excess powder from our baking earlier. Next I'm taking MAC Zoom Fast Mascara. I'm obsessed with this on the lower lashes. It just, I love it. It's so pretty. It makes your eyes look so like doll-like. And to highlight, I'm taking a mixture of MAC Soft and Gentle and the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And just placing that on the tops of my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my chin, and in the center of my forehead for that nice glowy, dewy look. And that about wraps this look up. So I hope everyone has a fabulous Valentine's Day. I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do that. And that's it. <laughs> okay, bye.